Ticket, please. Mark, what are you doing here? I'm driving the streetcar. Ticket, please. Mark, is this the same streetcar that I left you on two years ago? Yes. You got off and we never saw each other again. Where have you been all this time? Driving this streetcar. You need to disembark now. The end is near. Mark, there's nothing out there but clouds. Don't worry, Maya. You can fly in your dreams. And what about you? It's time to get off. Jump! Maya Anderson, the psychiatrist? Yes. This is Detective Schwartz. I'm with the police. Do you know Dr. Mark Blanche? Yes, but I haven't seen him in over two years. He worked at the Find Your Way Psychiatric Center. He went missing two days ago, and we haven't ruled out murder. Could you please come meet me at the Find Your Way Psychiatric Center? There's a sort of mass hysteria going on here. All the patients are acting strangely. I understand that you're highly respected in the field of hypnosis. We need your help with our investigation. Detective Schwartz? Yes. Thank you for coming. What is this strange place? This used to be a place where people could rent cottages and vacation by the lake. Dr. Blanche rented the entire complex and set up this clinic for his patients. He was treating five of his patients here. It looks like they were all special patients of his. Two days ago, Dr. Blanche vanished without a trace. His car is still here, but no one has left the complex. So we think that he might have been murdered. Well, what's the matter with his patients? You mentioned something about mass hysteria. They all started having strange nightmarish visions after the doctor went missing. These visions seem to occur at any time, even when they're awake. I can't give you any details because I don't know the specifics. Hey, are you okay? I think I see something. What is it? I see a weird looking little person. A little person? What does he look like? He's wearing a mask and he's running around rattling shackles and chains. Stop kidding around. Your jokes aren't funny, Detective. Oh, goodness. He's so annoying. Who is it? It's a little person. Relax. I should be able to help you if I hypnotize you. Okay. Please hurry. Focus on my flashlight. Relax. Watch the changing focus of my flashlight. You're not here. This isn't happening. We're entering a dream. A dream of your subconscious. Your sleep. Don't be afraid. This is a projection of your subconscious. It's so weird. Now, let's find out what's bothering you.
There he is. It's that little person I was talking about. It looks like a phobia. And what are we going to do with it? We need to get rid of it. Where did this phobia come from? I don't know, but maybe that wasn't the only one. Let's keep looking. How horrible! God, it's me, and I'm naked. Give me back that key. Relax. It's only a dream. What are you doing? You're not allowed in there. Don't worry. I won't harm you. Maya, you know that people lie, even when they're hypnotized. God, it looks like I'm starting to have nightmares. Perhaps this place is somehow affecting everyone's psyches. How long have you been questioning the doctor's patients? Yesterday and today. Do you think it's contagious? Maybe. Detective, are you sure that you've told me the whole truth? Police officers never lie. We brought you in to help us solve this case. We've told you everything that we know. Please, talk to all the patients and find out what is happening. I need to go now. But I'll be back tomorrow. Good luck. Hello. I'm Maya. I'm a doctor. Welcome to the crazy house. Why are you here, Laura? My family is a bunch of idiots. It's impossible for me to be around them. That's why I came here. Dr. Blanche promised to help me, but he was too late. 
How was Dr. Blanche treating your mental health issues? Dr. Blanche taught us how to deal with and control our emotions. We played games, and I did a lot of painting. It was really good. But then he disappeared two days ago, and I started having all these horrible visions. Laura, what's this that you're drawing? Dr. Blanche asked me to draw a place where I'd like to be. For some reason, I ended up drawing a cemetery. Please, tell me about the nightmarish visions you've been having. After Dr. Blanche disappeared, everyone here started having terrifying visions. We have them when we sleep, but sometimes when we're awake too. Are we going insane? Honestly, it's not as easy as one might think to go insane. Particularly five people all at once. Please, describe your visions. A scary skeleton girl wearing a mask appears in my dreams. It's very disturbing. Okay, let me hypnotize you. <laughs> now why would you want to do that? I won't harm you. I just want to help remove the vision that's causing your fear. Okay, go ahead. Hypnotize me. Focus on my flashlight. You're not here. This isn't happening. We're entering a dream. A dream of your subconscious. You're asleep. Where are we? This is my mental studio. I often paint here in my dreams. What's bothering you? My parents don't love me. They could just care less. Skeleton. I'll get rid of her. My mom plays computer games for days at a time. She's growing cabbage and herding sheep online. My dad has escaped into a world of beer and sports. He screams, Goal! Gets fatter, and his head is getting square.
You know, your parents really do love you. Do you love them? Of course I love them. What's bothering you? Nobody loves me. Well, there's one guy, but he's weird. He's sad all the time, like me. Most men are boring and aggressive, but most girls aren't any better. There's that skeleton girl again. Love will suddenly find you, and it will be serious and passionate. Are you ready for it? Yes, I can't wait. How do you feel? I think I'm better. I feel like I had a really good sleep. So, the visions won't appear anymore. If they reoccur, we'll just remove them again. Where are they coming from? I never used to have anything like this. That's what I'm here to figure out. Has anyone else been having visions? Yes. My neighbor, Victor York, has been having them too. He's in the tent by the river. Okay. I'll pay him a visit. In the meantime, try and get some rest. Hello, I'm Maya, your new doctor. Hi! Hey, you're cute. Want to go get a drink? How well did you know Dr. Blanche? I found him on the internet when I did a search for Tired of Living. We drank some whiskey and really hit it off. Then he invited me here to his special clinic. Do you have any idea why Dr. Blanche disappeared? I haven't a clue. Perhaps you know. After all, you were in a relationship together. He used to talk about you. Why did you break up? We wanted to spend three days on the sea. I was on my way to the airport when I got a call from work. It was an urgent case, so... I decided not to go on vacation and rushed to the hospital. I got off the streetcar and Mark went to the airport. And then he disappeared without a trace. Just like now. Do you have visions that bother you? Some sort of scary freak wearing a mask appears from time to time. I don't want to sleep anymore. Why are you living in this tent? It was Dr. Blanche's suggestion. He thought it'd be better if I lived like this until I got over my depression. 
Has it helped? Yes, it's been great. But things have been crazy now that Dr. Blanche disappeared, so things aren't so great anymore. How about I hypnotize you, and we clean away all the negative visions? Focus on my flashlight. You're not here. This isn't happening. We're entering a dream deep in your subconscious. You are asleep. Where are we? This is my childhood. What's bothering you? I had an unhappy childhood. There's that freak that won't let me sleep. My parents were always in prison. I was an angry and hungry child. I never went to school and didn't read much. I think this is the root of my problems. Try to fool me. You had a lively and exciting childhood. What's bothering you? I had a friend, but he drowned in his bathtub. Hi, Maya. I want to give you some advice. Leave. Leave as fast as you can. can't save the visions anyway. None of this is your fault. And besides, I like you, so get out of here right now. Then I got some serious dirt on a bad guy and I could blackmail him.
I took all his money. I opened a clothing store and it was very successful. opened a music store. Then I opened a chain of movie theaters and became a millionaire. But I keep seeing my friend's corpse floating in that bathtub. things and donated money to good causes. The corpse isn't there anymore. How do you feel? Like I had a really restful night's sleep. And my mind is clear. And that freak, is he gone forever? Just don't think of him, and he won't appear anymore. Victor, at the end of your dream, there was a strange Native American statue. Where do you think it came from? There's a medicine woman who lives on the other side of the river. She has a ton of statues. When Dr. Blanche disappeared, she went totally crazy and started ranting about how the gods had been angered and that the end of the world is near. She's just muddying the waters. I'll go and speak with her. In the meantime, think happy thoughts. Hello. Go away. This place is cursed. Curse? Tell me about the curse. Two days ago, someone stole the cosmic spirit from the altar. It's the Meekmok's ruling spirit. It shouldn't have been disturbed. Now, no one will be spared. What does the Cosmic Spirit look like? It's stone. In the time of the Ancients, it fell from the sky. It has protected my people for over a thousand years. You're all alone. Where's the rest of your tribe? The Meekmok have been living on this land for centuries. But one day... Some men wearing ties showed up. We signed some papers, and they gave us credit cards. The whole tribe left to live a modern life in the city. I'm the only one who stayed with the spirits of our ancestors. Do you know Dr. Blanche? Dr. Blanche is a good man. He gave me some chocolate. He disappeared the same day that the Cosmic Spirit went missing from the altar. It's all connected. We're doomed. Who could have removed the Cosmic Spirit from the altar? One of the insane people that Dr. Blanche was treating. Who else? 
For two days, Dr. Blanche's patients have been having visions. Do you think it's because your stone is missing? Did you think the cosmic spirit would forgive such an offense? Everyone will pay for their ignorance. Have you been having strange visions too? Yes, and with greater frequency. Now smoking my pipe doesn't help anymore. The end is near. Focus on my flashlight. You're not here. This isn't happening. We're entering a dream. A dream of your subconscious. I can see everything that you see. You're asleep. You have a very vibrant and dynamic subconscious. What is bothering you? The souls of my people have been angered. No one has made any sacrifices to them. And now the meat box ruling spirit, the cosmic spirit, is missing. My people and I are in great grief. Satisfaction helped us during our years of starvation. The spirit of beauty made us pretty. made us brave. see that you have a strong spirit, and you're a good person. I'll help you by sharing my knowledge with you. Now you know the basics of my tribe's spiritual power. It will help you do things you couldn't before. Excellent. I didn't doubt for a second that you'd be able to do it. The sharp teeth made our teeth strong.
The spirits won't be angry anymore. We'll find the cosmic spirit and return him to his spot. Are you sure you want to finish what you started? It looks like I need to teach you a lesson. I know your weaknesses, Maya. You still can't forgive yourself for leaving that streetcar. But the streetcar is gone. Forever. Mark is gone, and he's never coming back. Where are we? This is the city where the meek Mok went to live. The city is devouring my people. Cities have destroyed nature and all that is pure. There is lots of crime and evil in cities. noise they make cities smell bad and you can't escape from them they're everywhere Go to the city and be with your people. The city won't eat you. There is plenty of space for everyone. Someone with such great power, you defeated the evil spirit who was your teacher. Dr. Mark Blanche taught me hypnosis. Ah, so you're his student. Do you still love him? Things were very complicated with him. He's still alive. I can feel it. But he is in great danger in order to save him and the rest of us. We need to find the Cosmic Spirit and return him to the altar. 
Can you do that? Trust me. I'll find the cosmic spirit. Go visit the artist. She knows something. I can feel it. <laughs> Scary skeleton has reappeared. What's happening, Maya? I'm scared. It looks like some sort of mental virus. Paranoia can infect people like the flu, but I can cure this, so please, don't worry. You should really give up on this painting. A cemetery really isn't the best subject. But I'm obsessed with it. When I close my eyes, I see that skeleton girl in the mask, and then I continue painting it. Do you know anything about the Meekmok's ruling god, known as the Cosmic Spirit? I think it was a sort of a meteorite, and now it's missing, and the medicine woman says we're all going to die. Who do you think could have taken it? I don't know. I certainly don't need it. Did Dr. Blanche have any conflicts with any of his patients? No, but he had lots of conversations with Einbach. That professor's really funny. And he looks like Einstein. They would walk around the facility together, waving their arms in an animated fashion. They were probably having some sort of scientific argument. Did Dr. Blanche ever hypnotize you? Nope. Never. How did he treat your mental issues? We just talked. He has a very deep and calming voice. I'd always feel much better during our sessions. Let's hypnotize you again. Here. Focus on my flashlight. You're not here. This isn't happening. We're entering a dream. A dream of your subconscious. You're asleep. What's troubling you? We're all going to die. Why do we torture ourselves by living when we can die at any time? There's no point in living because we're all going to die anyway. There's no escape. We're all doomed.
and this is my grave. Isn't it nice? And this is my grave. Isn't it nice? What happened? Where's my grave? It launched into space. Why? Because we're not going to die. Your eyelids are heavy, and you want to sleep. I want to sleep too. Let's snore happily together. <laughs> Just kidding. I bet you want to know who I am, so I'll give you a little hint. It seems like everything is a result of our experiment. Mark disappeared and these nightmarish visions started. It was a mistake to give them the money, but I had to. Mark said that the experiment would change the world. Well, I'm sure you understand that I can project anyone's image. See ya! Okay. You won't have visions of that scary skeleton anymore, so stop painting that cemetery. Do you understand me? Yes. Victor York was in your subconscious again. He said he gave Dr. Blanche some money for some experiment. Do you know anything about that? I remember hearing something about it, but I really don't remember. You'd better ask Victor. Okay. Please, get some rest now. I'll go talk to Victor. Victor, why didn't you tell me about the experiment? What experiment? The experiment that you gave Dr. Blanche the money for. Ah. You mean the two million dollars? Two million dollars? Can you tell me anything about the experiment? Dr. Blanche told me not to tell anyone. Well, the situation has changed a bit now, hasn't it? Honestly, I don't know much. The experiment used mice. An experiment with mice? Yes, he did something to them and they behaved in a peculiar way. Dr. Blanche said there was a chance of winning a Nobel Prize, so I gave him the money. So you just gave away two million dollars and didn't think twice about it? Well, I am a multi-millionaire. Do you know anything about the Meekmox meteorite? The medicine woman said it contained her tribe's ruling spirit. We just laughed at her. Do you know if any of the patients showed an interest in the occult? Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe Mohan. He lives in the upper part of the clinic, but he believes in aliens. It's a total nutcase. Are you still having nightmares? Well, yes. I, I wanted to ask you to hypnotize me again. The freak came back, so I think I need some more of your treatments. Focus on my flashlight. You're not here. This isn't happening. 
We're entering a dream, a dream of your subconscious. You are asleep. Troubling you. I've got everything. Huge home, yacht, wife, and kids. Everyone admires me. They all think that my life is great, but I feel terrible. dead. I'm sitting in a cryogenic chamber, up to my ears in liquid nitrogen. Maybe they'll revive me in 500 years, with a cure for my disease, but no one revives me. It looks like you're suffering from the fact that you have everything. Look around you. Go home and start helping other people. When you focus on others, everything will be all right. Understand? Yes. Thank you. The professor who looks like Einstein. Did he take part in the experiments? Yes, he helped Dr. Blanche. I think he was coming up with different formulas, and maybe he got the mice for the experiments. Victor, you should have told me all this the first time I spoke with you. The patients are all going insane, and you are trying to fool me. That's not nice. Do you think this is all a result of the experiment? Do you think this is happening for no reason at all? I'll go look for the professor. Dr. Anderson, how's your investigation going? What have you learned? Dr. Blanche was working on some experiment here. Victor York financed the project, and Professor Einbach was assisting him on the experiment. What sort of experiment was it? I don't know, but I should figure that out soon. I just need more time. How about the patients? Are they still experiencing those strange nightmares? It's a complicated situation. Something or someone is constantly affecting their psyches. I think we should evacuate the patients. Okay, I'll organize a bus to pick them up tomorrow. In the meantime, please try to learn more about Dr. Blanche's experiments. Okay, bye. Good luck.
Hi, Professor Einbach. Hey, it's our new doctor. Nice to see you. I feel great. Tell me about the experiment, Professor. I don't understand what you're talking about. Don't play me for a fool. I know that you helped with the experiment. I don't know about any experiment. Why are you dilly-dallying in front of the gate? Open it. I forgot the code. It was only four digits, and I forgot it. I'll help you remember. Now, I'll just hypnotize you. Nine, stop. I don't want to be hypnotized. You're scared. You need to trust me. I can help you. I'm not afraid. I'm completely healthy. The other patients have been having nightmarish visions recently. Have you been having any nightmares lately, Professor? No. I'm totally healthy. I just forgot the code to the gate. Focus on my flashlight. You're not here. Nine! Stop! I am here! No, you're not here. This isn't happening. You're entering a dream. Yeah, yeah, a dream. In a little while, you'll be gone. Gone to your subconscious. I can see everything that you see. You're asleep. Now you'll remember the code to the gate. What are these designs of? It all started with the Mi'kmaq's meteorite. It's releasing a special radiation that influences the brain's neurons. We took it from its altar in the middle of the night and started studying it. We came up with a number of experiments.
came up with a way to influence people's brains from a distance using the meteorite. We borrowed two million dollars and bought a bunch of equipment. And I managed to borrow 50 experimental mice from the university. We irradiated the mice, and the result was astonishing. The mice became intelligent and happy. The Nobel Prize was there for the taking. So what happened? Mark disappeared without a trace, and everyone started having these strange and terrifying visions. Lots of people have totally forgotten true happiness, love, and laughter. Mark? It's possible to reteach everyone what they've forgotten, and I think I've found a good way to do it. The meteorite's radiation was devilishly positive. It created a feeling of love, harmony, total oneness with the world, without any chemicals or addictions. But sometimes the effect would be the complete opposite. Maya. The apocalypse will begin right here at Find Your Way. I don't want to frighten you, but are you ready? the combination to the gate. Professor, do you remember the code? Yes, 0634. Great. Now, open the gate. Look, it's my house! Did anyone else know about the experiment? Just one of the patients, Mohan Singh. He's a computer whiz. He assembled a device to irradiate the mice. Where does he live? Right here. He's my neighbor. I'm Maya. I'm your new doctor. What? Can't you see I'm writing code? I just have a few questions for you. What is that antenna for? That's for my hobby. I study cosmic radiation. Looking for alien signals? I'm looking for ordered signals in the radiation. Something indicative of intelligent life. May I check out the lab? It's a total mess. Come back later. Professor Einbach said that you assisted with the experiment. What exactly did you do? Mark asked me to write a program that duplicated the meteorite's radiation. I wrote the program, then Dr. Blanche and Professor Einbach trained the mice. Where did the experiment take place? Right here in the laboratory. So, what do you think happened to the meteorite? Maybe Mark took it, 
Any idea where he could have taken it and why? After extended exposure to the meteorite, it starts to affect one's consciousness. Perhaps Mark wasn't quite himself and he took it with him in the woods and got lost. Why do you think the patients are having these nightmarish visions? I'm not bothered by any nightmares. When I'm writing code, nothing bothers me, except you, because you're preventing me from writing code. Look at my flashlight. You're not here. This isn't happening. We're entering a dream, deep in your subconscious. You're asleep. Extraterrestrials came here to make experiments. The Earth is just a test tube for them. And people are like bacteria. They study our growth, color, and odor, and take notes in their quantum notebooks. But we must find the wheel. The wheel to raise our arms and start fighting. We are not bacteria. We are intelligent beings! We were foolish to break up. I thought work was more important than three days on the beach. And Mark went by himself. Of course I was focused on my career. It seemed like life was passing me by, and I needed to do something. I've changed my mind. It would be so great just to sit somewhere together and look out the streetcar window. It's just like a woman to want love. <laughs> So, do you understand who I am now? I'm just a mental projection, just like everything else. Just be ready when the apocalypse comes, because I'll need you. send all these alien agents back from where they came from. We have lists. I've seen them posted on the internet.
did they go? They went home. But who will we fight? With other digressions, there are lots of them. Hey, I was just thinking. And? My neighbor, the composer, probably took the meteorite. Why? He has an addiction problem and that meteorite has a drug-like effect on him. He probably took it and is sitting somewhere just getting high off it. You should go check. Okay. I'll pay him a visit. Are you okay? Yes. Leave me alone. I need to write some code. Hi, I'm Maya, your new doctor. Yes, I heard that you're a hypnotist. Are you having strange visions? Will you hypnotize me? Yes, I can help stop the visions. Are you currently composing anything? My girlfriend broke up with me and... Notes just make me sick right now. It's like I have a horrible ghost in my head who won't let me sleep. So basically, I'm having difficulties composing. Did you take the meteorite from the shaman's altar? Why would I take it? Doesn't it cause some sort of happiness? Real happiness is just a chemical state. And the doctors won't let me take any drugs. The meteorite is just a piece of rock. Do you know about the experiment that is being conducted here at the facility? Experiment? What experiment? Using the meteorite to alter people's consciousness. That's not surprising. Dr. Blanche is a freak. Sounds like something he'd do. Personally, I think he's an alien. That's right. How about we have a session right now? Look at my flashlight. You're not here. This isn't happening. We're entering a dream. A dream of your subconscious. You're asleep. I used to wake up in the middle of the night, and music would just flow out of me. All I had to do was write it down. Now everything's quiet. And everything I compose is horrible. Thank you. 
In order to get inspired, it helps to strip things down to their basics. so easy to get inspired. You can compose music again. Start tomorrow morning. Got it? Yes, I'll start tomorrow morning. What's troubling you? I had a girlfriend. We met on the beach at sunset. I was happy as could be for a whole year. So what's the problem? We broke up one evening on the beach. She said we were better off apart. I tore up all her photos, but these memories have a strong grip on me. Photo memo bomb with a flash, and I'm the most unhappy person in the world.
Don't be sad anymore. You'll be happy. I was a child prodigy, just like Mozart. They even called me a little Mozart. Mozart is still living inside my head. How can I get rid of him? Mozart? Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart? Yes, that's me. What are you doing here? I've been living in Arthur's head for 30 years. I need to write a song, but Arthur won't talk to me or let me out of here. Well, let's compose something. What instruments shall we use? What kind of percussion instruments would you like to use? Let's use something ethnic. What about a synthesizer? No, we'll get by with a piano. Will there be a guitar part? Yes, electric guitar, please. Shall we use a gramophone for backing music? No, let's use a boombox. Will there be a violin part? No, I think a harp will fit better. Well, Maestro, let's perform something. Oh, 
Yes, this is exactly what I needed. Let's begin. The time has come, Maya. I'm erasing the patient's psycho essence. What? Why? You'll find out soon enough, because you're next. Who are you? Take off your mask. Everything in time. <laughs> Where am I? And who are you? Arthur, are you okay? I don't know. My name is Arthur? Professor, what happened? I don't remember anything. Not a thing. This is crazy! Professor, what's seven times eight? I don't remember. What do you want? God in Himmel! Waiting for you, Maya. Mohan, how are you feeling? I erased the patient's consciousness. I feel great. Mohan, what's going on here? The meteorite is a powerful psychotropic weapon. I am transmitting its signal directly into people's minds. The antenna on the roof is able to cover the entire facility. But don't worry, everything is safe here. Why do you need a psychotropic weapon, Mohan? I am a member of an organization called the Total Liberation Society. We are liberating the world from oppressive corporations and Freemasonry. The meteorite is a super weapon. It's capable of creating phobias and can erase people's consciousness. We can use it to change the world. Where is Dr. Blanche? He refused to cooperate, so I had to eliminate him. I am continuing with the experiment by myself. The guy in the mask, was that you? The mask was just a side effect, part of many persuasive visions. Where's the meteorite? It's right here. Do you want to see it? I'm scanning the meteorite's waves, amplifying their power and rebroadcasting them. And what are you going to do now? The patients are completely out of their minds. They will learn to live new lives, and that's only the beginning. I've hacked a network of cellular towers. Once we're connected, all human consciousness will get wiped clean. We need people we can trust, and I chose you. Do you want to heal people with hypnosis for the rest of your life, or do you want to come with me and change the world? Okay, Mohan. I'm with you. It looks like you have something in your eye. Something in my eye? Looks like an eyelash. Let me have a closer look. Don't move. Look at my flashlight. You're asleep.
Globalization, corporations, and the internet, they are responsible for so much evil in the world. And where's happiness? Happiness is on the decline everywhere. Everyone's been zombified. Everyone. Everyone just consumes and squanders everything. Nobody understands what's happening.
These Freemasons and corporations only exist in your mind. And the world is just as simple as it was when you were a child. Really? Yes. You should code less and read more books. Or go on a vacation and leave your laptop at home. Stop the broadcast, Mohan. It's over. Okay, that's it. I turned it off. What did you do with Mark's body? Did you kill him? Mohan, what's the matter? Who are you? Mohan, knock it off. I'm not going to fall for it. Where am I? At last, the meteorite. This rock really is powerful. I'd better return it to the altar. Do you recognize me? I'm Maya, your doctor. I don't know you. Leave me alone. Now what am I supposed to do? Mark! You're alive! Are you okay? I'm okay. Who are you? Let me help you. You're safe here. Do you remember anything? It's really difficult. What's your name? I don't know. Could it be Max? My name is Maya. We studied together. I'm hungry. Look at me. Look at my flashlight. Try to remember. You taught me hypnosis, remember? After some rest, you'll remember everything. You're not here. This isn't happening. You're asleep. Mark? Can you hear me? Mark! You know, I was wrong. I was thinking mostly about myself and not enough about us. 
But now that I've found you again, everything will be better. Listen, lady, you're really disturbing my meditation. Could you please pour your heart out someplace else? Oh, you again. What are you doing here? Take that mask off, you parasite. I guess I'll leave now and try to find some peace and quiet. Now you'll remember everything. Absolutely everything? The most important stuff. I remember. We understood how to use the meteorite and got giddy like little kids. Being able to make powerful mental suggestions from a distance, it was like a wild dream. The key to a new era was right there in the palm of our hands. I remember. Victor gave us the money for our research. We conducted successful experiments on mice. We needed a programmer. So I hired Mohan Singh, a patient of mine. He seemed quiet and polite. Turned out that Mohan was much crazier than I thought. He refitted and retuned the antenna and started experimenting on people. I fired him, and then I don't remember. Oh, this is irrelevant. When was this? Christmas. You overindulged on mandarins and your stomach hurt, remember? someone else. He hit me from behind and injected me with some unknown drug. I don't remember what he looked like. Dr. Blanche. Dr. Anderson. Wake up. Maya, what are you doing here? I called her here.
Wait, she's the one that injected my neck. Detective, what's going on? I'm not a detective. Then who are you? I'm president of the Total Liberation Society. Wow. Where is Mohan Singh? He's in the lab, but I'm afraid he can't talk. Don't hypnotize me or I'll shoot. I wasn't even thinking about it. When Mohan told me about the meteorite, we decided to test it on the patients. Dr. Blanche needed to be subdued because he didn't want to cooperate. The meteorite turned out to be a powerful weapon. It was able to elicit rather persuasive fears in people. It was ideal for what we wanted to do, but we wanted to cover our tracks. That's why we called you. We wanted you to help the patients recover. But you got too involved and learned too much. That's when I ordered Mohan to turn the meteorite up to its full power. But unfortunately, it didn't affect you. So now I have to shoot you. Why are you being so negative? Oh, God. Where am I? What's going on here? Once again, I don't remember anything. Maybe this is just a normal state of mind. Oh, God. Where am I? Who are all these people? Now, what do we have here? Seven insane people, one meteorite, and two questions. How will it end? What am I going to do now? Looks like I don't have a choice. I'm not here. This isn't happening. I'm entering a dream. A dream of my subconscious. I'll now find the answers that I need. I'm asleep. Show me your face. Who are you? I'm from a planet far, far away. My quantum essence is in the meteorite. You look sad. Why? When Mark moved his practice into the cabins, he set up Wi-Fi, and I learned to exchange packets of data on it. The internet was suddenly open to me, and I began to realize how boring my life was. There is so much happening on this planet, and I'm sitting in this stone like it's some sort of coffin. The same thing happened to me. You can change that if you want. Are you the Cosmic Spirit? The spiritual god of the Mi'kmaq? When I landed here, the natives thought I was a god sent from the sky. They put me on their altar and started to worship me. I enjoyed being a god. Why did you erase the patient's memory? People conducted experiments on me. They heated me up, irradiated me, and even cut me with a laser. I just got fed up. No, I didn't erase their memories. I just absorbed their psycho essence. You're a good person, Maya. I didn't want to take your psycho essence. 
Cosmic Spirit, I want to help you. Will you let me see what you're like on the inside? You won't like it. But if you insist... I insist. Now we'll see who you really are on the inside. Look at my flashlight. You're not here. This isn't happening. We're entering a dream. Deep in your subconscious. You're asleep. What's happening? I'm reading everything on the internet on this planet, and there's so much happening. And I've been stuck here sitting for a thousand years, and nothing ever changes. And there's no way out for me. I can't even die. My quantum essence can't even kill itself. Where are the patients? They are looking for a way out, but there isn't one. There's no turning back. a jackhammer. The walls are very thick. Oh god. I'm trapped! I don't want to die here! See, there's no escape. The universe will collapse. At least we'll be together forever, Maya. Albeit inside this rock, but still. Either an impasse or the start of a new era.
I'd be better off if I went home. Back to my parents. What are you doing? I'm preparing for the final hour. This is the end of my path. It ends here. We're all trapped in this rock. It's really quite amusing, isn't it? It appears that the Cosmic Spirit has left via the Internet. What are we going to do? Yeah, how are we going to get out of here? All we have to do is wake up. going how about we let everyone explain where they'll go okay I'll start I'll go and study hypnotism so I can help people like Maya but I'll unexpectedly get married and understand that being a mother is my true calling I'll start a charitable organization and we'll battle against hunger and HIV AIDS and someday we'll win I'll move to the city to be with my people I'll learn to read, quit smoking, and live a very long and full life. I'll return to the university and continue teaching students. And one of them will win the Nobel Prize in Physics. And I'll open my own IT company. We'll make video games that will help sharpen people's minds. There'll be good, clean, fun games. And I'll marry Laura Neiman. I'll go to prison. 
But it won't be for long, because the Total Liberation Society didn't manage to do anything really bad. I'll become a sales agent and sell vacuum cleaners. And what about you, Mark? What will you do? I haven't decided yet. I imagine I'll disappear again. Well, I guess this time, I'll disappear with you. Wait a second. What about me? What happens to me?